So chapter 72 began the fight between Granola and Goku, and chapter 73 will continue it. As we saw the incredible hidden potential of Granola that many of us thought about but didn't know he would actually be able to utilize the way he did, and Goku's new ability to take Ultra Instinct, the, um, the state of being, the technique, and kind of use it with other forms. So here we have Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 73. These are the draft pages that have come out. We're going to go into some spoilers for the first 10 or so pages of the draft. So um, if you don't want to be spoiled, it comes out in one week's time. But there's nothing here that's anything story-driven. In fact, this entire set of drafts that we got this month for Chapter 73, there's no dialogue. There is no dialogue here whatsoever. I asked Herms, there's nothing. It's just all combat. So for the next chapter, we're going to have pretty much the first third of the chapter is going to be all fighting, which I'm okay with. I am perfectly fine with this. You know, they built up this fight with Goku and Granola for, what, about five months, six months, five and a half, whatever, whatever, and uh, built up Granola as eventually being the strongest in the universe, which is what he wished for. And here we have the fight. And like we talked about before, I've talked about this in many videos, the fight will continue, I think, for at least some of this chapter before Vegeta gets his turn. So I do see Vegeta get his, his turn very, very soon, if not next chapter. So let's, let's go over some of these images, all right? And if you're new here, please subscribe. This is the channel to go to for up-to-date Dragon Ball news, as well as discussions and history and things like that. Coming up on Tuesday. And also, please leave a like down below. It helps the video out. Please do that for me. I really would appreciate it. It means a lot. And also, coming up this Tuesday, Saiyan Beyond God Transformation God. I've been building it up for a while, and it's finally going to be here. Tuesday. All right. First of all, I love this shot right here. That was from the last chapter, the end of it. But uh, here we go with Granola and Goku. Opening chapter is just them going at it. Key Blast. It looks like what's happening here based on what I'm seeing. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit for y'all. Okay. So based on what I'm seeing here, it looks like we have uh, a Granola firing a bunch of blasts at Goku and Goku dodging them, presumably using Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan Blue. I did a whole video... I want to say about, what, two weeks ago, going into exactly how this works, how Goku's able to use the Ultra Instinct movements with Super Saiyan God and now Blue. So I will leave a link to that video at the end of this one for you to check that out because some of you are probably new and didn't see it. Um, but you want to check that out because it does thoroughly explain everything. So Goku's using that speed that he has with UI to dodge Granola's blast. And Granola is very fast. I mean, he's not only the strongest in the universe, he's also very, very quick. Is he faster than UI, though? Uh, I don't know about that, but he was really fast. Don't forget last chapter, he, he freaking appeared behind Goku using a technique that resembled the instantaneous movement, right? And was able to get behind him, and they couldn't even sense him. He was so fast. Um, so, then we have here this shot. Of uh, of Goku, and, and it looks like Goku has his eyes closed here, so he's obviously concentrating in the UI, and he's going after Granola, so it looks like Granola is, is kind of escaping him, and Goku's chasing him, and there's no context as far as to what's going on here. They may or may not add dialogue when the chapter's actually out. I don't think they will, because usually they have dialogue already in these things. Um, whatever this, the original script was that Toriyama and Toyotaro wrote together, most likely, probably Toyotaro with Toriyama approving, that usually gets done before the draft pages are even done. So I feel like that's not going to be the case. Most of the time that's written before the art goes in. So we're going to get an explanation made later. But it looks like what could be happening is Granola could be trying to escape Goku. Not escape like run away from the fight. Escape more like maybe taunt Goku or get him into a position where he lowers himself and he gets possibly caught. But here what we have is... We have what looks to be tons and tons of blasts coming from everywhere. So this is going to be a key heavy chapter. Tons of blasts here from everyone. I mean, look at right here. It's Goku and Granola dodging through what looks to be either blasts or uh, it is blasts. But also it looks like it could also be trees in a forest. But I think I, I, it's hard to tell, but I think it is trees. But it could also be blasts coming up from the ground. It's hard to tell with this black and white imagery. Uh, it's unfinished, of course. But it looks like nonetheless they are firing a bunch of blasts at each other. Granola showing off his incredible speed. 
Here we have Goku again using lots of key. They're expending a lot of energy here to uh, hit each other. So, And it looks like they are trees because in this next image, you see the trees kind of breaking. So he's kind of showing like, you know, they're going through destroying these trees in this forest as they do battle. I always like fights in Dragon Ball that took place in forests. We didn't see that many of them, right? There was only a few. Um, the one that I can think of that kind of, I think, was memorable recently. Uh, I wasn't that recent. It was... Nah, I wasn't recent at all. I like the fight in the Cooler movie, the first one with Sousa and Piccolo. That was in a forest. You know, I wish we had more fights like that. There haven't been that many. Obviously, Resurrection F had the fight in the forest, too, for a little while. With, uh, you know, the Z fighters and Frieza's army. It's happened a few times. Um, and then moving on, it looks like here... Based on their expressions, it looks like both Granola and Goku are both like kind of shocked and stunned. Um, big kick right here, knocking Goku away. So it looks like Granola has outsmarted Goku or, or has even found a way to even move faster than Goku. So if Granola can move faster than Super Saiyan Blue utilizing Ultra Instinct, that is that's pretty impressive, right? And this looks like to be a shot of Goku knock, getting knocked through a bunch of trees. I always like when Dragon Ball has like explosions and destruction like this, yo. And it looks like he's trying to hang on to a limb there. Flip him. This is cool. This is cool shit. Flip him back behind the limb here. Goku in, in fighter stance. And that's it. That's all we get. So they're not even giving us anything. There's very little here, yo. Uh, very little. In fact, looks like only about, what, seven pages? Yeah, this is only page seven. This is seven pages, yo. So... That pretty much means that if it's only seven pages, that means that the next chapter is going to be a lot of stuff that's going to happen that's not talked about here. Which means that Vegeta could fight. Um, we could have Goku actually using silver-haired UI. We could have the heaters doing their thing. But obviously the fact that we're only seeing seven pages of a preview tells me that... I mean, just being honest with you, that there, there's probably something big that's going to happen by the end of this chapter. Like, I could be wrong. Obviously, I, I don't know. But... By the end of this chapter, like by the time we get to the big finale, something big could happen. But it looks like a lot of it's going to be Goku and Granola fighting and Goku testing himself against who is the supposed strongest in the universe, uh, Mortal. So let's see. But again, no dialogue here, nothing to really dissect, just the fight itself. What do you think? Not much to say, but are you excited for this Goku and Granola fight? Do you want to see Vegeta get in there already? Or do you want? Do you think Vegeta is still kind of analyzing Gridola, trying to figure him out, analyzing the attack pattern. We're going to find out in one week's time. We may or may not get spoilers early this, this month. Uh, we probably won't, but subscribe to the channel just in case we do. We'll probably get something. I just don't know how much we're going to get. So let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new, hit like, and I'll talk to you next time.